Who here hasn't been to space? Why? <laughs> you better not throw up on my ship. Approaching jump in three, two, yes. one. So Lars Mickelson came out and was kind of debunked that he is Thrawn, that he will not be playing Thrawn in the live action Ahsoka series. Now, I, I believe him, but I don't believe him at the same time. You know, Andrew Garfield has made it very difficult to believe anything that these actors and actresses say when in interviews when asked about upcoming projects. Andrew Garfield, you know, tried, attempted to uh, play a game of werewolf with us for an entire year, you know, even even on Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon or whatever, when they would bring it up and have, you know, the photo, like the photos that John Campia shared with everybody, you know, they had those photos, the photo of him leaning on the, uh, when they, when they were up waiting for the villains to come to the statue and they were talking about, um, how, how, uh, the coolest things that they've ever done or whatever, um, the villains that they fought, it was in that scene. That was the one of the first real pictures we got that solidified and proved that Andrew Garfield was actually going to be in No Way Home. So ever since then, it's been one of those things for me personally where it's like, uh, I don't know if I really believe what you're saying. You know, I don't know if I really like when John Krasinski says, oh, I haven't heard from Marvel. Yeah, I don't know if I believe that shit. So when, when Lars comes out and kind of debunks that he's not going to be playing Grand Admiral Thrawn in the new Ahsoka series that's coming in 2023, knowing that he did voice Thrawn in the Rebels, um, the Rebels series, the animated series that came out uh, for Disney. We know that he did voice him there, but everything has hinted that Lars is going to be playing Grand Admiral Thrawn in live action. That is something that a lot of scoopers have come out and said. That's something that we all speculated. And this is not just new news. This is something that was speculated early last year, end of 2021. You know, um, this has been going on for a long time, this speculation. But he did come out and say some things. And this is what Screen Rant is having to say about it. It says Star Wars Rebels Grand Admiral Thrawn voice actor Lars Mickelson debunks the rumors surrounding his potential future in live action Star Wars projects. Star Wars Rebels followed the life of a young Jedi apprentice, Ed Ezra Bridger, played by Taylor Gray, and his team his team of rebel heroes, including fellow Jedi Kanan Jarrus and the pilot Harrison Dula. Grand Admiral Thrawn was the main villain in the show in the final of the final season, with Ezra Bridger's catching the calculated Imperial villain in a sequence of dynamic events that ended with them sent into the unknown regions of the Star Wars galaxy. The Star Wars uh, the Star Wars Rebel series finale is considered a lead into the upcoming Ahsoka live action series. It's going to pick up, Ahsoka's going to pick up right where it left off, which is fucking, again, poetry. It rhymes. It's fucking beautiful. And then it goes on to say in a recent interview with Express UK, Mickelson, who voiced Grand Admiral Thrawn in the Star Wars Rebel series, revealed that he received no offer to play the character in live action despite being a fan favorite for the role. The voice actor said he hasn't been approached to play the character again, but added that he he was aware of the fan casting and teased that he would be willing to play the villain again. Check out his brief comments on the casting rumors below. And when I say brief, very brief. He said, I'm aware of that. Yes. Well, I haven't had that offer, but yes, sure. Literally, that's all he said. And again, when he that bro like that that right there him saying just that like I'm I'm aware of that. Yes. Well, I haven't had an offer, but yes, sure. No, he he's 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 thrown. He's thrown. No one else is going to be thrown. He's thrown. Then it goes on to say, rumors surrounding the upcoming live action debut of Grand Admiral Thrawn having circulated ever since The Mandalorian Season 1, but those rumors, those rumors intensified after Ahsoka mentioned him by name the Mandalorian season 2 the up in the Mandalorian season 2 the upcoming series Ahsoka is expected to introduce Thrawn into the into live action Star Wars projects uh, potentially as a big bad of the Mandalorian era Lars Mikkelsen and that is true he is it's not just potentially Grand Admiral Thrawn is going to be the big bad moving forward, going into uh, connecting into the sequel trilogy things. Now, how they're going to tie him into the sequel trilogy stuff, I'm not too sure. But Thrawn is the new big bad moving forward right now. He's 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 their bread and butter of what they got going on. Says Lars Mikkelsen um, has been the primary fan casting choice both because he voiced the character in Star Wars Rebels and due to the character's resemblance to the real life actor in the series. And the last thing it says here, um, early report, well, 
one of the last things it says early reports suggest that Mickelson has been cast in the role which makes his denial in his interview with Express UK somewhat surprising and somewhat probably again playing a game of werewolf it's possible that he won't he won't portray the beloved villain and that the and that the part will go to a different actor but it's also possible that there is some misdirection the Star Wars franchise has dealt with more casting rumors than seemingly any other property with the speculation of rumors landing to discussions on the internet that recently that recently happened with Liam Neeson and Obi in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. For months, the veteran, veteran Qui-Gon Jinn actor was rumored to be in the series, but Neeson denied those rumors again. These actors and actresses know what they're doing. I mean, there's a uh, they 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 can't they can't obviously go out and just say, oh yeah, I'm in it, blah 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 blah. You know, they're they're signing contracts, NDAs, things they can and cannot say. Um, but Neeson denied those rumors whenever he was asked. As it turned out, uh, Neeson reprised his role as Qui Gon via a final scene in cameo. So the last thing it says, as it stands, Mickelson appears in Ahsoka or any other. As it stands, Mickelson's appearance in Ahsoka or any other Disney Plus Star Wars series remains obscure. Still, the veteran actor is no stranger to playing coy in his many television and theatrical roles, and this could be another example of that. It definitely is. Despite no confirmation on his casting as Grand Admiral Thrawn, Ahsoka series star Natasha Lee Yu, but oh, but oh. Bordizio, uh posted that she was done filming her role as Sabine Wren in the series back in October 2022. Ahsoka is slated for a 2023 release date on Disney Plus with Rosaria Dawson reprising her role as a titular character she first played in The Mandalorian Season 2. Perhaps once the Star Wars show premieres, Mickelson's casting rumors will finally be settled. Oh, it's settled now. Mickelson is he's lying. Like they just said, he's no stranger to playing coy and in the many other roles he's played in television and the many roles he's played in uh, theatrical uh, roles. So they're definitely playing a game of werewolf. Mickelson is definitely going to be Grand Admiral Thrawn. I feel like they are too far into production. Definitely not just I not I feel they are too far into production for us to be hearing. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're going to be getting a different actor playing. We This has been rumored since 2021. This is not new. This has been on the table since 2021. Lars Mikkelsen is definitely going to be playing Grand Admiral Thrawn. He's definitely playing Koi right now. And there's some great things that we've heard about uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. There are some things we've not just great things we heard about Thrawn, but great things we've heard about the Ahsoka series and what it's going to be doing moving forward for the Star Wars franchise. Um, and one of the things I've even seen kind of going around a theory even kind of that kind of connects that what they just said about Thrawn being the big bad moving forward there are hints at Thrawn even in the Mandalorian season uh, three trailer that just dropped the the pilot's name that escaped his name he still his name still escapes me but the pilot that showed up in season one I believe with Dave and he also showed up in season two um, he, for the with the rebellion, he's talking to Mando at one point in the trailer when he says something big is happening, and by the time you can do anything about it, it's going to be too late. Something big is brewing out there, and what we know is brewing out there in the unknown regions is what Thrawn is currently doing. Thrawn getting his army together to advance on the new republic this is this has always been a part of thrawn's plan thrawn trying to advance on the new republic building his army building his army an, an undead army that at least that's what the rumor is an undead army that he's raised from the dead using the night sisters magic i this is going to be such an amazing series i cannot wait for the ahsoka series it is it is my most anticipated project not just star wars my most anticipated project of 2023 i cannot wait to see this show i can't wait to see lars on screen portraying the villainous conniving manipulative calculated Grand Admiral Thrawn. I cannot wait to see him don that role. I can't wait to see what we do with these flashbacks with Ahsoka uh, and the world between worlds being explained in a lot more and having the understanding of the world between worlds. I can't wait to see some of these uh, things that have been rumored about what these what if scenarios like what if Ahsoka did not leave the, the, the Jedi Order and she was the one that was sent to Mustafar to fight her best friend and mentor Anakin over Obi-Wan fighting him. That is something that's rumored that's supposed to be showing up in the show we know we're supposed to be even getting flashbacks of young ahsoka played by uh, for, again her name escapes me too the young the young actress that played um in house of dragon played lady um 
uh, Yelena, I Lena, Lena, or forget her name. Um, we know that she's uh, 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 Savannah Stein. I believe that's her name. She's supposed to be playing a young Ahsoka, and we're going to get flashbacks of Clone Wars uh, stuff because if you remember during the Obi Wan time, it was we all heard the rumors and speculation uh, that that. Hayden Christensen had filmed scenes in his Clone Wars attire for Obi-Wan, but we didn't see anything like that take place in Obi-Wan. The only flashbacks we saw with Hayden Christensen was episode two things between, it was a training session between Obi-Wan and Anakin. So the scenes that he did film in his Clone Wars attire, it obviously was for Ahsoka. And we also know that Hayden Christensen is supposed to be showing up in the Ahsoka series, not just as Anakin, but again as Darth Vader. And again, I, this is something I'm really interested in. I cannot wait to see this series. I cannot wait to see Ezra. Uh, Ahsoka and Ezra were two characters I, I hated when first introduced, which is now crazy because they are two of my most beloved Star Wars characters. I love Ezra Bridger and I adore uh, Ahsoka. I think that they are both phenomenal Star Wars characters, and I can't wait to see what this show is going to bring with uh, both of them in it. So I, I'm I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to see what they do with this show. But as always, question is for you guys. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys are thinking. Are you guys thinking that? Uh, <laughs> are you guys thinking that Lars is actually going to be playing? Grand Admiral Thrawn, are you guys thinking that we're going to be seeing some of the things going on uh, from the rumors with Ahsoka? Are we going to see some of the flashbacks? Are we going to see an undead army made, created by the Night Sisters, uh, ran and, and commanded by Grand Admiral Thrawn and things like that? Are we going to be seeing the ad adaptations of Heir to the Empire within the new Filoni verse? What are you thinking is going on with these the, this? these things that Lars Mickelson has recently said and some of the other speculations and rumors going on with Ahsoka. Just let me know on, down below everything that you are looking forward to for the series and, the, and maybe even some of your trepidations for the series.